My name is Anna Baker. My name is Alexander Stomos. Hi, my name is Miel. Hello, my name is Ogane Choi, Ogane Kerry Christopher. My name is Olivia Rees. My name is Laura Johnson. My name is Guy and Brenna. I'm an Italian marine biology. And I'm a researcher at the Stockholm Resilience Center. I'm a mechanical engineering student. I'm a science journalist. I'm a research assistant. Marine biologist. I'm the assistant director of maritime studies. And I'm a psychologist with formation in marketing. Today's youth and the generations that come after will inherit the catastrophic consequences of uh, climate change, of rising ocean levels. Affecting the biodiversity. And it's time for young people to be the ones who say we want a different model of development and we want something that we think is sustainable because for us it's, it's really not about now but also about the future. And I think it's really critical that something like the Youth Summit helps to highlight as well as to develop what young people my age are working on. I think these are the initiatives that are really going to have the transformative potential moving into the future. What I think that youth are better advocates to lead the charge in the protection of our ocean. With every generation comes more potential for innovation and improvement. We've grown up with global warming and climate change looming over our heads, so we know it's at stake. Use our collective voices, use our knowledge, use our power to be the change that we want to see. We all contributed to this mess and we all need to fix it together. But it takes time to change our habits and we don't have this time, we need to act now. New generations can start this momentum. We are all from different continents. Environmental leaders from many different countries. Together, we can make a brighter future for our oceans. If you care about something, you want to protect it. The ocean is essential for all life on Earth. And it is, after all, the Earth's blue heart.